Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on a Beam NG Drive today, taking a look at a very curious mod. I was just browsing the forum, seeing what had been released, and came across a track called the Endurodrome. This is inspired by the Reckoning map that uh, was built for my kind of destruction series. It is another take on the kind of drive until your car gives up. Now, this is the guy's first mod. It's a fairly sort of early version of it, if you like. There's not a hugely detailed environment. But the basic course is here. There are a variety of different obstacles for us to try and negotiate our way around, from jumps to speed bumps to all sorts of other, well, bits and pieces. And I'm kind of curious to see how vehicles are going to fall apart around this circuit. We're going to start with the Kashira. This is essentially a, well, it's a people carrier built on the, uh, classic Pazima sort of basis, if you like. I have also got the engine debug information going on on the side, so we can actually see what bits fall apart and how it's going to fall apart differently, and we're going to go see how long the car survives. Because actually building circuits to try and get vehicles to fall apart through methods other than one big jump and a crash, or through overheating, are surprisingly difficult. It's surprisingly difficult to get cars to fall apart over a period of time, basically. Uh, because, well, the radiators tend to go quite early on, and other stuff outside of, you know, driver error and crashing into a wall, trying to get that, yeah, gradual fall apart is not particularly easy. So I'm curious to see how this circuit uh, manages. There are no big kind of jumps across a river that you can fail, and for the sake of this, I have got to drive flat out. I say I've got to drive flat out. I mean, I'm going to break, of course, four corners, and I might have to lift off to sort a vehicle out uh, if I make a bit of a mistake and so on, but I've got to go as fast as I can. Otherwise, you know, we can go all day here. If you were driving the vehicle sensibly, it would never break because you would drive accordingly to the road conditions and where's the fun in that we have got a mud pit to negotiate it's quite a bumpy mud pit to nego ne <laughs> it's quite a bumpy mud pit to negotiate i don't think we're going to get the vehicle stuck uh, this is the front wheel drive version of the people car if we do actually get it beached and bogged down in the mud i uh, will node grabber and, and pull it out but i think we should be good it's not too thicker a mud that crash has broken our... Oh, it's broken the front right wheel is at a precarious angle. This being front wheel drive, we lose that front right wheel, and that would be bad. That would be, that would be very bad news for us. That would... I suspect the diff won't let us continue. I mean, just having it bent is going to hamper my steering quite considerably. Oh, that's a lot of fire. Oh, okay, that's also not helpful. Why the... Why is there fire? Why have we got fire going on? What have I done? Uh, oh, Christ. I can't see what I've done in terms of, like, you know, the engine debug. It's not seemingly saying anything's broken. Um, apart from the exhaust manifold is relatively warm, but it's an exhaust manifold. They're always bloody warm. So I'm not sure what we've knocked off to set the fire going. Uh, the radiator hasn't fallen or hasn't, hasn't been punctured as of yet, which is interesting to to note. Oh, this is going to be a fast jump. Here we go, car. What are you going to do across here? It is a go! Oh, we needed actually a little bit more speed to make it onto the platform. Okay, that's actually quite an interesting little challenge. There is a landing zone that you can get that nicely if you're going quick enough, but if you're not going quick enough, you are going to have a lot of trouble. Now, I did have a, I did have a brief fly around the map with the camera to see what there was. We've got a very tight chicane there. That's to make sure your steering and brakes are still working, because if they're not, you're going to have trouble through that part. Big jump. That's a big, big hit. That's the radiator gone. We are now uh, we are now leaking some of the coolant. Not a massive... Oh, that's been some more coolant leaking out. The exhaust has fallen off. Uh, <laughs> that's a lap. That was a lap around this circuit. And we're already on fire with quite badly broken steering. So... Yeah, I mean, as far as the disintegrator car, it seems to be doing a pretty damn good job. Now, these speed bumps don't... I mean, we are being slowed down quite considerably to get our car through that section. The speed bumps don't seem to be doing 
too many bad things. Although if we do start getting broken, I suspect if we kind of bend up bits of the chassis, uh, you could end up just like running the chassis into those. And that probably won't be a particularly pleasant experience for the, or for any vehicle, but for this, no, not <laughs> when we've got bent and buckled wheels all ready. Uh, the coolant, yeah, the coolant is all, is all dribbling out of the car. I'm not sure we're going to make it that far. I mean, the fire, if the fire spreads to the, well, fire, oh, that's us gone. That's us gone. That's not even the axle that was clonking around in the first place. <laughs> that wasn't the bent and buckled one. That was the right-hand side that has gone. That, we're not even, we're never get, getting out of there. The diff isn't going to let the one wheel go. Uh, we will just, I mean, if we had any... Yeah, the diff's not going to let that try. Uh, <laughs> it's, not only is it stuck in the mud and on fire, we've also snapped a wheel, lost a drive shaft, and the front wheel drive people carrier is dead. De definitely very, very dead. So, yeah managed to be killed before the overheating. As far as destroying a car as it drives around, that's actually a pretty damn impressive first showing. So, it seems like this track has a pretty good way of uh, destroying the vehicles as they go. One of the bigger challenges as well is can it destroy the more heavy-duty vehicles? Vehicles that are designed to deal a little bit more with off-road and, well, take a little bit more punishment, or can these keep going indefinitely? That is why I've got a Roma. Now, this is a fairly normal spec Roma. It's a V8, it's all-wheel drive, um, you know, designed to deal with some off-roading. It's not a crazy rock crawler and all of that sort of stuff, but designed to deal with a level of off-road driving. So <laughs> let's see what this can do. Now, the advantages, of course, an off-road orientated vehicle, you've got better suspension. You've got suspension designed to deal with bumps, designed to deal with perhaps some jumps around the way. But often to get that, the vehicle will be quite high riding. You'll have a high center of mass, which that was very close to clonking a barrier stupidly there. Uh, yeah, you'll have a high center of mass, which does tend to lead them to toppling over a little bit more, especially if you have to go for it, as I am going to be here, then you run the uh, yeah, risk of, of rolling over. And the vehicle, while I'm always going to be allowed to right the vehicles, uh, the damage that can be done in the vehicle tumbling over can sometimes be quite extensive. Uh, oh, are we going to be able to find a way to fire ourselves through here? Yeah, pretty, ooh, pretty nicely, although that exit was not quite so nice. We're going all over the place here. Going to clonk our way through some... Just, we'll just clonk our way through the rocks. Thankfully, we are okay. Are we good? We've got tweaked steering. Oh, that was a big bounce. That was a big bounce. Yeah, the other downside with the soft suspension can be good at cushioning blows. Can also be good at firing your car back up into the air so you continually bounce around the place. I like these little... I say these are like this, this rough surface that we have sort of down here in a couple of other places as well, where the vehicle is being constantly just chucked around from side to side. It might not do sort of the big one-hit kill that you get from large jumps. However, it can shake stuff loose. And over a period of time, again, you're going to see suspension collapses. You're going to see wheel axle snap and whatnot. Are we quick enough to make this? Oh, that's not great for the... Oh, for the Roma. Oh, something's gone very badly wrong with the back of my car. That does not feel particularly good. Are we all right? It looks like that left, rear left suspension is on the wonk. Actually, no, it looks like the entire rear suspension. Something's gone very, very wrong with the rear suspension of the Roma. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not happy. I think that's slightly collapsed. Now, we've got around this first lap with, I say minimal damage. We've got around this first lap not with, you know, we're not on fire. We've not got a wheel broken, but certainly... Some unhappy things have gone on <laughs> to the to the vehicle, and that's good to see. That's what you want to see. Uh, now, of course, you expect a vehicle like this to go further, to survive longer than the people carrier, but it's good to see that damage has been done. I mean, there's a door. Don't care about the bodywork. <laughs> don't, don't care too much about that, but it's how much more damage is going to be oh, done to this with a knackered suspension when we start hitting the 
worse of the bumps. That mud pit is a concern. Have we got damage to the front? Difficult to tell. Difficult to tell with that front suspension, certainly in comparison to what's going on with the with the rear of the car. What's going to be a good path through here? Hmm. Can we chuck it through sort of the middle bits? Yeah, middle bits just about worked. Oh, we haven't rolled it. Somehow I've not rolled it. I'm very, very surprised. I'm going to try and pick that gap through the middle there. Okay, we'll go through the mud a little, but that's fine. It's clonking down on those rear corners still. I don't know if you can get the little fuel tank on this. You can rupture the fuel tank if you hit the back of a car hard enough. It is... Uh, entirely possible and oh um we have slightly lost a wheel it's fine now this should allow us to continue driving are they okay yeah so we'll keep all of the diffs uh, locked on we've lost a wheel but in a really weird manner it's kind of tethered itself into the car uh <laughs> nothing to see here it's all fine it's kind of like the tethers they have on like four wheel one cars and I would imagine other forms of motorsport to stop the wheels bouncing around when they, uh, <laughs> if there is a crash. Uh, oh, it's a little bit more difficult to drive when it's on three wheels. Just a smidge more. Oh, um, can we go? Uh, apparently not. I don't know quite why we can't go that way. It's the game is, oh, that's park. The game is more than happy to allow it. I don't know why it was having issues going up there. Where has that wheel gone? It's actually finally f flung free. That's good. It won't be getting in the way. My concern now is we're definitely not going to go fast enough here to make this jump nicely. So we're going to go for another roll. And this is the thing. Once you start taking damage, once you start taking damage in your vehicle. Oh, crap. We're stuck upside down. Uh, da, 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 quickly, 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 quickly. Roll over. Once you start taking damage, you just keep taking more and more and more damage. Because uh, you can't go quick enough to make jumps. I mean, this is going to have the rear of the car now scraping on just about everything. Uh, we are very, very poorly here. Come on. Come on, Roma. You can do it. I mean, this two laps has been arduous arduous work indeed oh no i can't make that turn okay we don't really steer very well and there's a <laughs> it's like someone's i don't know whether it was intentional to have those metal rods out there but they kind of act like uh stop sticks uh, <laughs> if you go across them it's kind of the way beam collisions work with those things and tires you go across those you end up in a world of pain uh, we are really now we're really struggling to move although we have got to that stage where the vehicle's so knackered that it uh, doesn't take so much damage. There's there's sort of two different stages of destruction. You have the cars gets more and more damage so it can't make jumps, so it uh, takes heavy hits on them. But when it starts getting really knackered, the vehicle's then going so slow that when it does hit stuff, it's only at 20 miles an hour, so it then doesn't do damage. <laughs> there's a there's an interesting, an interesting medium. It's why I've tended to have rules about vehicles uh, crawling around, uh, suffering damage, and why sometimes having jumps that require a set amount of speed to complete, or you take very, very heavy damage, or you just get stuck, uh, have the vehicle out so that something doesn't just limp its way around. Oh, indefinitely, uh, when it's kind of slightly giving up, like. Well, like this currently is. I think perhaps the mud pit might uh, prevent vehicles from crawling around because it might get to the point where it can't actually carry on in terms of going through that. Might not also be helped by the automatic gearbox that uh, came with this. We will, I guess, find out as we chuck this through the mud pit. No, we're gonna climb. We're gonna just about carry enough speed through all of that, but only just about. Now, what are these rocks going to do at this sort of... Oh, that's not going to help matters. Okay, that's the drive shaft gone. Still, radiator is in one piece. Curious. Uh, so, yeah, now we are a front-wheel drive only Roma. And we're a front-wheel drive only Roma with a tyre going down. A tyre gone down, in fact. It's not ideal. It's various bits of my car... <laughs> scattered around the place. Are we going to clonk? Oh, this is going to hurt the front of the car. We're not really... I don't I don't know the best... The optimum route down here to avoid the most... There's not really an optimum route to avoid the most bouncing. It's pretty rough whichever way you uh, head. Oh, 
get turned around there. Now, don't spin out here because we need that momentum. We need that momentum. That's where the wheel ended up. We need the momentum down towards this jump. I don't know whether we've still got the power. We might not have the power here to really do this. Or the drive or the traction or any of those sort of things. Oh, there goes the radiator now. <laughs> it's it's taking it, getting towards its, uh, well, getting towards completion of its uh, third circuit. Now the radiator has gone. Wasn't a massive hit on the radiator. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> the engine is up to temperature. So once that radiator's gone, you are a ticking time bomb. There is, you know, a certain inevitability. You're not going to uh, keep running forever. Uh, oh, God. No. Oh, we're going to clock that front worse. Our steering is not great anymore. But we are still going around. Just. <laughs> Only just. We're up to six, well, almost up to six miles of driving here as we begin yet another lap. We've actually got, I think, snapping that rear drive shaft has helped it to an extent. I think we've got a little bit more power going on. Oh, I think we've actually done something very bad to the rear of the car. That's got worse. That has got worse there. Whatever's gone on in the rear has has got dramatically, dramatically worse. Uh, <laughs> I think we've lost all sort of suspension movement. Damn it, we've lost momentum, and that's not helping things here. Well, oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Uh, if I do that, is that going to get us moving a little bit? Yeah, kind of rev the engine and then go. We've actually locked up the entire rear of the car. What the hell have I done there? How does that work? <laughs> never seen a car do not in that manner we've collapsed suspension we've broken suspension but that's basically like crash welded that wheel into the well into the wheel arch that's very peculiar i have a feeling that's going to fall off very well it's, it's going to hit something with the back of the car and that is going to overload it and snap it all apart and then we might have some real trouble dragging ourselves around with just the front wheels going <laughs> Yeah, in terms of uh, vehicles falling apart, this is pretty damn cool, actually. Uh, we can pull our way through the mud bog. Yes, just about. Now, these rocks are probably not going to be fun with the entire rear of the car collapse. Is there a better route through here? Oh, no, there's not a good route through there. Ow. Ow, indeed. Oh, front, front right. Front right wheel axle is gone. The only downside of having that debug thing up is it doesn't necessarily... You don't see the messages quite as well. I can probably move that around, actually, if I thought about it. Front right's gone. That means our front wheel drive uh, <laughs> portion is apparently not working. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I would have thought this might have done, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a goner. There is no more go left in the Roma. That is it dead. It made almost seven miles. I'm really impressed with this as, as far as a destruction track goes. It is just about everything that you want. It will kill even tougher off-road vehicles. I mean, something even tougher than this. Yeah, it'll probably survive a bit longer, but I think inevitably, the way that these things bounce around a lot, it does damage to the suspension. And with some of the very technical sections, you've got to really slow the car down for. If you've got broken steering and brake issues and all of that, you put it all together. Yeah, this is a really cool, a really cool destruction circuit. And for the for the guy's first mod, it is, uh, yeah, very good at destroying cars over time. I certainly look forward to seeing this uh, get a little bit more developed, whether it be just with kind of scenery, whether there be any additions to the course or not. Yeah, it's really cool. I'll stick a link to it, of course, in the description of this video. Download it. Give it a try yourself. I do very much recommend it. And maybe at some point when I've finished playing around in the desert, we will come here to uh, destroy our cars. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.